the number of companies that are going out of business or close to bankruptcy in the retail space and the restaurant space is unprecedented because consumers' tastes are changing. In retail in particular, the way that we buy products, think about it. How many of you don't even go to stores or malls anymore? You just go to Amazon or you, maybe you just go to Macy's.com or Nordstrom.com. The founders of Rodan and Fields saw that and bought their company back from Nordstrom and decided of all things, they could have just put up an e-commerce site. They chose to become a network marketing company because they knew that the best way for them to maximize their profits and their revenues was to get a sales force of people, give them a great compensation plan, cut out the advertising costs, cut out the middleman, cut out all the layers of managers getting commissions without doing shit for work. Just pay the salespeople. Get people who love the products who are going to go out and say, oh my God, you've got to try this. Ladies, think about every time that you've bought anything at Ulta or Sephora and you love your brow, your Anastasia brow wax, right? How many of us use Anastasia brows? That's where these brows came from in addition to my waxers. Okay, I told you that I use Rodan and Fields eyelash stuff. When you go and you find a product you love from a makeup counter, think about, like I used to never be able to wear eyeshadow because I would get creases on my eyelids. When I found Urban Decay, primer and I realized that if I put that primer on I could suddenly have the most beautiful crease-free eyelashes or excuse me eyelids I was like so excited and I told everybody that's what selling is newsflash that's selling me just telling you you see these brows do you see how perfectly arched they are this is Anastasia brows with you've got to get over to Ulta you can order it at Sephora you can order it wherever go buy it it's worth it. it's twenty two dollars you know how many people a month a day a week I tell it's bothering me about that. That's selling. I've just sold you. The difference is I'm not getting paid for it. So let me just tell you, if Anastasia decided to come out with a direct sales program, you damn well bet I'd be on it. The only difference is I, I might not only because at some point you can only be involved with so many companies, right? At some point you say, I'm going to rest my hat here. I'm going to put my efforts here. I'm going to make income from three companies as a direct sales rep. And then I'm going to make money from my blog and my website. And that's, that's it. I'm getting a message from somebody. So I'm going to have to wrap this up here close pretty soon. But I've, I've pretty much been able to cover most of the points I had here in my outline. And hopefully this is a really, really, really informative show for you. Um, but again, Rodan and Fields, extremely popular with a great brand. They bought their brand back and decided to go the direct sales model because it's the smartest business model. If you do your research on this, you will realize that the leverage sales model, which is what you're doing, you are joining a company, whatever company it is, you are building a team because you are getting paid not just on your own efforts, you are getting paid and able to leverage 20 people working below you and 20 people below them. And inevitably you build the right team and get with the right company where you can, you know, with your energy and your influence over time, build enough people, you could be leveraging the efforts of 80 people every hour instead of just you and you're making money. And yes, it's legal. And yes, it's very similar to what happened in corporate America. You're just cutting out a bunch of middle management, about middle management people who are being paid $150,000 a year to do nothing but manage you. There's no managers in, in network marketing. It's just you. There's no bosses in network marketing. There's an upline, but they're there to just help show you the ropes. You don't have anybody telling you what to do. And guess what? There's no limits to your earnings. The only limit is you and how much you're willing to work. And the, here, let me give you the keys to success and what will, what will make you fail. Let me go back to what I said at the beginning of the show on network marketing. If you want to join a network marketing company and you want to make money, you can make any type of solid continual income the average person who joins an average network marketing company and is actively talking about the product and maybe gets two or three to maybe 10 different people buying products, whatever, they're very casual. They're going to make maybe between, a, let's say, $150 and $500 a month. That's nothing. That's not bad. You know, if you, if you join, for example, let's just use Isogenics, the company I'm part of and you're regularly spending $500 a month, like I was at GNC and Vitamin Shop, suddenly you're spending that money, instead of at GNC and Vitamin Shop, you're spending it 
at Isogenics. Now that money is a tax write-off because it's a business expense because you're a consultant. Then you start to share this on social media and you get a couple sales and you earn three or $400. You could easily, if you're proactive, make 500 to a thousand dollars a month. So you're almost saving that $500 that you were spending at GNC. Now you're spending it here. It's a tax write-off and then you're making that money back. Um, maybe you're, you know, we have this program where you share, you share the, so if I, if I'm buying $500 worth of product a month and I share it with two of my friends and they spend 500 bucks a month, I get my products for free. So I'll make that money back and then I'll make other money back. And, you know, I don't want to get into too much detail, but your average person, I would say, and these are my estimates, there's more estimates out there, but your average person is going to make between 150 and $500 a month. Okay. And that's with doing some proactive recommendations. Okay. That's not what I would say is reflective of a person who's choosing to work the business to, to really be in the business. Now there's then the next level of people who probably make between 500 and $1,500 a month. That's a car payment. That's a mortgage payment for somebody. That's somebody that has a small penis issue driving by out there. <laughs> I can't stand cars that are so loud like that. I just don't understand why they're even legal. Um, so between 500 and 1500 bucks a month on average, that's like the next group up. Um, and again, I'm saying this across the industry. These are my estimates. This is not like I'm pulling this from a data source, but I think that I'm fairly accurate. Um, if you made an extra 1500 bucks a month, in addition to your full-time job, if you made an extra 1500 bucks a month, in addition to the work you're doing as a blogger, that's pretty damn cool. Because what if you made 1500 bucks a month and then you started working on your blog and you start making 500 bucks a month from affiliate revenue. And then you start making 200 bucks a month from your um, ads on your site. And then you make an extra 200 bucks a month from, um, you know, newsletter. You, you start working on building your newsletter and then you're charging for ads there. And then you start a podcast and you're making, you know, maybe 500 bucks a month from selling ads there you know, suddenly you're looking at maybe two, three, four thousand $4,000 a month. That's $50,000 a year. That's nothing to poo poo, right? And this is legitimate, real income. It's taxable income. You will start to learn how to 1099 and keep track of taxes and all that. That's a separate thing. So there's the, the low end of the group making 150 to 500 bucks a month. And there's like 500. And again, these are my estimates. Then there's the next group of people who start to make, I would say between 1500 and 3000 and then three to 5,000. And then you start to jump up to people who are between five and $10,000 a month. Um, a lot of people between 10 and $50,000 a month. Um, there are many people who have hit millionaire status, whether it's I've hit millionaire status over three years, I've earned an accumulative amount of a million dollars. And then there's some people who are earning a million dollars a year. There are some people who are earning seven figures a month. Okay. The people that are making those amounts of dollars, the people that are making $250,000 a year, the people that are earning $50,000 a month, the people that are earning a million dollars a year, the people that are earning, I'd say even $5,000 a month and up. Those are people who it doesn't mean they are all working full time. That's the beautiful thing. When you have a team, you can leverage income. These are people that are spending focused amount of time and they are proactively promoting and selling products. They are focusing on the business. Let me be clear again. It is not necessarily that the people making $250,000 a year are working 70 hours a week. More often than not, you will find people are working full time but they also have the time freedom because they are their own boss to be able to say, I'm going to take this week off. And you know what? They're still making income, but there's most, you're not going to see, this is not a get rich quick scheme. This is not a make a bunch of money and then sit and you just do nothing. The people that you see that are successful are working the business. They are working, they are networking. They understand that the way you make money is to network and meet more people and share the products that you believe in, that you are passionate with to more people. And if you take yourself outside of the network marketing model, look at any successful entrepreneur. If they have, uh, you know, I have a friend of mine who's formed a, uh, a diet slash fitness company. She's got a program that's diet and workout related. 
And she started small. She, she figured out this program. She started selling it to, you know, individuals one-on-one. -on -one. She built that up big. And then she brought in other people and certified them very similar. And she actually had worked as, you know, and been very successful in several network marketing businesses. And so she's built a very similar model where, and, and other businesses have done the same thing. They, they bring in, look at Tony Robbins. I'll, I'll give Tony Robbins as an example. He has figured out that he can only charge so many people and his voice only has the capability to do so many events. So he's brought in coaches that he has certified to be Tony Robbins coaches. I hired one of them to be my business coach. So these people pay Tony Robbins organization to be certified as a Tony Robbins coach. And then they teach Tony Robbins methods to other people. Tony's taking a cut of their stuff. It's a similar business model. It just makes sense. But ultimately, again, what is key is success does not happen overnight. Success does not happen without hustle. Success does not happen without consistency. Success builds over time and you don't, get rich quick. There are no shortcuts. So people, if anybody has come to you, like other than me, and you're watching this because somebody's come to you and said, oh, I want you to join this network marketing company. Let me give you some of the red flags you want to look out for. Somebody's come up to you and said, oh my God, you should do this. The owners are driving Maseratis. This is so cool. They just launched this company six months ago. Um, my friend is making $87,000 a month and just sign up and all you have to do is spend 2,500 bucks. But by three months from now, you should be making $87,000 a month. Everything about that should be, be a red flag to you. A company that's not been around long, a company that's asking you to put a lot of money down, a company that is selling a lot of flash, fancy cars. It doesn't mean that having a, a car as part of the reward is bad, but you don't see that as much. I know Arbonne has a Mercedes plan, but you don't see that as much in the network marketing industry. I think they realized that that gave it a bad name where it got people very excited. Oh, you can have a Mercedes. Oh, you can have a BMW. And people got all excited. And then they didn't get to that level and they got pissed off and they went off and wrote bad blog posts, right? If you get approached by somebody and you get excited, I want you to go to the Direct Sales Association. I want you to look up and see if that company is a member. If they are not a member, that's red flag number one, in my opinion. Number two, look up the company, see how long they've been in business. If they've been in business a year, even two years or less, I would question that. Every time I've gotten involved in the past, before I had the confidence and assertiveness and the ability to say no, uh, before I was the creator of the course I mentioned to you before, the opposite of nice isn't nasty. I used to be a pushover. I used to be a people pleaser. I couldn't say no to anybody. And so when somebody came to me with, um, you know, this opportunity to be involved with Prove It, which is a ketones company, or I'm trying to think of the name of the skincare company. I don't believe it's in business anymore. Ugh. Somebody else might remember this, but this was like three or four years ago. I'm like, oh, okay, well, all my friends are doing it. I guess I, guess I have to do it. And I felt uncomfortable because I knew they hadn't been around long. I knew that their stuff had questionable ingredients, but I, my friend was doing it. So I said, yes. And this is where people get the bad vibe about network marketing, probably because they've said yes to something like that before. And they're like, oh, I didn't make any money. I just spent a bunch of money and I lost money. And so they make the sweeping generalization that what happened there is going to happen everywhere. That's bullshit. That's stupid. When you make decisions like that, you're only limiting your future. Don't do that to yourself. Because if you find a company that's reputable, that's been around for a while, that's making good revenues, that has a product service um, or product line or a service line that you really can stand behind, you owe it to yourself to give it some time because people, you put 10, 20 hours a week into one of these network marketing companies, you can make a really nice additional stream of income and something that can grow for you. Because here's the other thing to keep in mind about corporate America. What's your exit strategy? When you work in corporate America, you know what you can expect every year? A 2% raise. Maybe you can expect a 10% raise. That's not accumulating wealth. When you work in corporate America, you can be fired at any time. Anybody should know that. There are so many people getting fired because of coronavirus right now, and that's just life. You cannot get fired from a network marketing company unless you quit. And if you keep working the business, your income will grow. Your income doesn't retreat. The only way your income stops is if you get rid of everybody in the company and you quit and you, you, you disconnect yourself. 
more often than not, if you stay at it, your wealth can grow and you can will that business more often than not. It also depends on the company. You can will the business to your children. Can you will your business, your salary to your children when you work in corporate America? Highly doubtful. This is your opportunity to build a business. Where else can you build a business where you don't have to invent the product? You don't have to create the product and house it in a warehouse. You don't have to fulfill orders. You don't have to set up your own website. You're given a website. You don't have to pay $250,000 for a franchise operation like you do if you're opening up a Subway or a Massage Heights or a McDonald's. Like your startup cost is 150 to 500 bucks. Are you kidding me? And most of that is you're buying a product you're going to use anyway. What's your risk? Your risk is so much lower than your risk staying at a corporate job and making that be your only stream of income. I'm not, sh I'm not recording this so that I, my goal here is not to have everybody quit their corporate job and, and, and dive into a network marketing job. The smart people work at a corporate job, if they still, you know, like they're cool at their job, start doing this on the side, start building income on the side. And then if you really love it, your, your best bet is like, Hey, you get surprised and suddenly you're making three, $4,000 a month. And you're like, I think I really want to go all in, but then you can, you can choose when you quit your job. And then when you quit your job, maybe you've already started a blog and, and then you're making money from your blog. You're making money from your email newsletter, from affiliate marketing. There's so many other things you can be doing so that you have multiple streams of income. But I hope this show has, has helped you to see not to discount the value and the potential awesome opportunity that a network marketing company can provide for you, the right network marketing company. There are some astonishingly amazing network marketing companies out there. I actually heard about one and I really should look up the name of this company. I can't think of it, but my friend, Jenny Lynn, I was actually looking to have her join my Isogenics team. And she's like, Oh, well, I'm a member of this company. And I looked them up and they'd been around longer than Isogenics. I'd never heard of them, but they like deliver groceries and, um, you know, how organic cleaning supplies and they're like doing a billion five a year. There's some extraordinary opportunities out there. And for the right individuals who are willing to do the work, and that means you have to open your mouth. You have to be excited. You have to share with people and you have to be willing to accept it. Some people look at you and go, oh my God, are you getting involved in one of those? Are you going to have house parties? Are you going to do that? Oh my God, you're doing that. But here's what's funny. The people that are skeptical, and maybe you've been one of them in the past, look at the people who, who give you that look. Look at the people who are skeptical. Look at the people like, I don't buy from network marketing companies. I just don't do it. Ask them a question. Why do you feel that way? You know, and, and let them tell you. When I've asked people and they say no, I've heard some of the dumbest, most ignorant excuses ever. I've heard my downline tell me some of these things recently, and I'm like, that's her reason. That's what she thinks. I mean, one of them was, I'm trying to think, she said, um, I don't want to buy from network marketing companies because I think that they, um, they make the product more expensive for me and I don't want to buy it. And so Diane was like, that's not really what happens. Like if you sign up with us, you can get 25% off just like I can. Why? help me out. She's like, I don't know. I just don't care. That's what I think. So I'm not going to buy it. Okay. <laughs> it's not like I'm coming to you and asking if you can douse yourself in kerosene and light yourself on fire. I'm asking you if you'd like to try some amazing products that are going to make you look good and feel great and probably lose weight and improve your health and well-being. And oh, by the way, you can make money sharing it with other people. But I know that's crazy awful that I was just asking that. So you have to learn that if you want to be successful, whether it's through a network marketing company or whether it's starting your own blog or founding your own company, you have to learn to not worry about what people think about you because the key to being successful is understanding that people will judge you. People will be skeptical of you, but the people that are going to judge you and be skeptical of you and maybe go, Oh, is she doing that thing. <laughs> They're bitter, angry people. Look at those people and tell me, are those the people that you aspire to be like? More often than not, it's probably no. So why would you give a shit what they think about you? 
Stop caring about what negative Nellies say and think about you because at the end of the day, it just doesn't matter. What matters is your internal happiness, your joy, and you doing something that fulfills you. And if at the end of the day, you are able to work with any one of these network marketing organizations, whoever's approached you and say, I'm doing something awesome. I'm selling something I believe in. Focus on the people that say yes to you. Focus on what you're able to do. And you know what? At the end of the day, when you get to the point where you're making an extra 500 or 5,000 or $50,000 a month or a year, you aren't going to care about that negative Nelly who's like, oh my God, I can't believe that you're going to sell Pampered Chef. It's so silly. Okay, don't have at it. I've got a whole world out there that actually loves Pampered Chef. I don't need to worry about you. And I, you know, blessings and love to you, baby. Get yourself some champagne. Sounds like you need to have a happiness pill. Don't worry about that. Let me look and make sure that I've gone over everything on my notes. Um, the last thing I realized I didn't share is the analogy about cardio versus strength training. But this is a good thing to close up on. If you are into fitness, you know that strength training is what we all tell everybody to focus on. Why? Because when you go in for a strength training session and you're lifting weights, you are building muscle. When you build muscle, you are actually affecting the way your metabolism works 24 seven. So the more I go in and I lift weights, I might burn less calories during that, that session, but because I'm building muscle, that muscle is helping me. Now, these are my words. I'm not finished getting my personal training certification yet, so I might not be articulating accurately. But when we, when we build muscle, that muscle is working for us long after we finish the workout. When we just do cardio, when we just get on the treadmill, the only time that we're burning fat and having that, that fitness stuff work for us is while we're on the treadmill. Once we get off the treadmill, the fitness stuff is over. It's not working for us. 24 hours later, that kickboxing session is not doing anything for us. Not like the muscle. When we build muscle, it's like compounded interest. That's what network marketing is. Network marketing lets you work. And the more that you work and the more that you build team and the more that you refer people and they refer people, you are building income and every second that you spend investing in your company, learning how to do it and learning how to do it better and you stay the course, your business will grow. Just like cardio, when you're working at a traditional job, once you leave that job, you're not making any more money. Like when you're not working at your job at Motorola or wherever over the weekend, you're not earning any extra money. You only earn the salary that they give you. You only earn the raise that they give you. And if you get fired tomorrow, you don't get to walk away with anything. You don't have any future revenues. You're not building anything. It's cardio. You only get work. You only get paid while you're working. The part that people most often misunderstand about network marketing Yes, you will hear people say, I earn money while I sleep. And that sounds like, oh, wait, what? That's too good to be true. Because it sounds shifty. It sounds like, how should I make money when I'm not working? It's because you're making money off of the other people. It's the leverage sales model. It's, that's how you make money when you sleep. It's not that you're doing something shifty. And, and I'll be honest with you. Like if I see somebody who's like, buy this computer, set it up, and you'll make money while you sleep. I can't stand seeing those kind of internet marketing scams. But the reason that you make money while you sleep here is because you are making money off of teams and off of a leveraged sales model. And it builds, but it only builds if you work. It doesn't matter what company you're at. And that's the biggest thing I want to close with. The biggest misunderstanding people have when they are joining a network marketing company is they think it's get rich fast. They think I'm going to join this company and I'm going to tell all my friends and family and all my followers and everyone's going to buy. It's going to happen in five minutes. It will not happen that way. And if you have that attitude and you go balls to the wall and blast it out and suddenly every single post on your social media is about your company, your products, whatever. And you go to all of your family and you, you tell them, you've got to buy this from me. I'm trying to make my business. It's not about you. If you go to people and you say, you've got to do this, you've got to buy this protein powder for me because I want to make a consultant. And if you don't do this, blah, 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 blah. And if you have that attitude and all you care about is earning your commission, making your money, and you're telling people they need to buy because they're your brother, they're your sister, they're your father, they should do this. Guess what? My parents aren't my customers. 
my brother, my sister, my niece, they're not my customers. They might down the road buy from me. Several of them have asked about it, but I'm not going to those people because that's not the way you build your business. You don't want to guilt people into buying from you. When you sell, you sell because you are serving your audience and you find the right people. You don't find people and say, make this product fit into your life because I want to make money off of you. You find people who need this product, that this product can, or this service can help them. And then you're solving a problem for you. And then it's an equitable exchange. They give you money, you're solving their problem. You don't go to your brother and say, look, I know that you're my brother and you owe it to me and I need to make money, so buy this for me. Even though you never work out and blah, 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 just buy it for me. That's not right. That's not work. That's not selling. You make money when you work. You make money when you sell. You make money when you sell, when you provide value, period. Any business, any company, any industry. So I told you about the cardio versus strength training. I told you about the legacy business. I told you about the leveraged sales model. Um, this is an income producing asset. I talked about that. Um, you have compounded residual earnings. It's not a pyramid scheme. Generally speaking, let's summarize. Low risk, if you look into anything that's low risk, low reward, that's, that's not that promising. This is the barrier to entry in network marketing is very low. The, the investment required is very minimal. Don't kid yourself and think that you could start a new business for zero dollars. You need to be comfortable. If you want to make money and you are not willing to invest two to 500 bucks, you've got a problem. You need to check yourself. Like you'll never make money if you're not willing to spend two to 500 bucks to start. There's no other place where you can spend that little amount of money, have the opportunity to have the tremendous financial upside that will reward you for your efforts, for your efforts, than in a network marketing business or having your own company, okay? So it's a tremendous opportunity. There are tax benefits. Um, in many cases, when it's a food or a nutritional type of a product, like the kind of company I'm involved in, you're eating your overhead, which is awesome. Um, the personal development and community that I love that comes with network marketing is not to be underestimated. Um, I think too, that's one of the things that causes a lot of skepticism is people who are not involved in the industry see that you'll, people who are involved in network marketing focus on a lot of personal development. They focus on becoming a better person. They focus on becoming a better leader, a better, um, a better person. They focus on themselves. It, it seems to be a very common thing. And this is starting to permeate corporate America a lot more. It's starting to become more mainstream to focus on personal development. Personal development, the self-help aisle in the bookstore used to be the thing everybody would avoid, but now it's something that is becoming much more mainstream. If you look at half these books back here, they're personal development, business development books. You'll see a lot of that and the community and the positivity that you'll find in the network marketing space is extraordinary. You'll find yourself surrounded by people who are positive, who are enthusiastic, who are um, deeply spiritual a lot of the times. And, and that doesn't necessarily mean religious, but just looking at life, like how can I give? How can I serve other people? Um, how can I be less selfish? How can I make a lot of money so I can do more for people in my life? It really is an industry that is um, permeated with positivity, personal development, community, um, and I do love that part of it. And I think too, that that is what the negative Nellies are so skeptical about because they, they think that people are too good to be true, but it really isn't. Of course, there are bad bones and bad eggs in, in every industry in any company. But for the most part, I find that the people who are lifers and who have chosen to make this their sole profession or one of their streams of income they're really good people, the kind of people I want to be around. And that's why I've chosen to make um, certainly a couple of companies. Um, my primary, one of my primary focuses in the ways that I earn revenue. So I hope I obviously went into great extensive detail on this podcast, this video. I hope that this was um, tremendously resourceful for you. And I hope that if you're considering joining a network marketing organization, um, if you're considering joining my team on Isagenix, that you realize this is an extraordinary opportunity 
especially considering I'm recording this in March of 2020, um, all things considered with the coronavirus, now there's never been a better time to start earning additional streams of income, or if you've lost your job recently, to be looking into, hey, this is something I can start now. I can start working in a company with a product or a service that I believe in, and I can start earning additional income now. You will be rewarded financially in accordance with your efforts, period. So it's not complicated. Um, it's, it's not complicated. It's simple. It's not easy because it requires you to make consistent effort and not give up. You will be told a lot of no's. And that's where you rely on your upline, your person like me. If you were to join my team, you rely on somebody who's been there, done that, because you got to be able to get through the no's to get to the yeses. And that's true in any industry. But um, the potential is unlimited, and that's what I love. And I certainly have chosen to rest my hat in you know, these two companies that I mentioned before because I believe in their product lines and I believe in the compensation plan. When I saw the Isogenics compensation plan, I'm like, this is where I'm going to be spending a lot of my effort. Um, the product lines make sense. The compensation plan is legit. And it's one of my top three fo areas of focus. So um, hopefully this was helpful for you. If you're watching this on YouTube, let me know what questions you have down below in the comments. You can email me, kelly at kellyalexa.com. If you want to have a consult with me to talk about network marketing in general, if you want to join my team and know what the next steps are, email me, kelly at kellyalexa.com, or catch up with me on Instagram, Facebook, wherever it is that you follow me. And if you're hearing this on the podcast, you can you know, reach out to me the same way. You can use the contact me form at kellyalexa.com whatever works for you. I hope this was helpful. I'm completely losing my voice after doing this. I'm toast, but I do feel very strongly about this topic. And I really, really, really uh, encourage you guys that are, if you're on the fence, hopefully this pushed you over to see that this is a tremendous opportunity knocking on your door. Do some research, check out the Direct Sales Association, make sure you choose a company that makes sense for you. Don't choose it just because of the compensation plan. Choose a double fit compensation plan and products. You've got to love the products. If you don't love the products, you will never make a great living. That's absolutely key. Till next time, you guys. I'll see ya.